There you go, get him. There he goes, running. Go, running. running. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Uh, he's caught in that tree. Oh, he got him. Get him, boy. Get him. You know what time it is. Welcome back to another episode of Get Him Greg Fishing. I'm Greg Williams, and today I'm going to show you how to make some catfish drifting weights for about 50 cents each. Stay tuned. All right, so today what we're using is uh, some 10 millimeter braided sleeve, uh, 5 16 black heat shriek tubing, and a pack of BBs. The link to each one of these will be listed in the description below. So uh, after you watch the video, if you'd like to order the products, uh, you can just click on the link and order them from there. The tools we're using today is a soldering iron, a heat gun, a pair of scissors, a pair of pliers, a funnel, and a tape measure. All right, so we're gonna start off by cutting the braided tubing to 14 inches. What we're gonna to make today is a uh, two ounce drifting stick. So I uh, measure off uh, 14 inches on the braided tubing. done is I've already cut the, uh, the heat shrink heat shrink material down to um, an inch and three-fourths and what I do is I fold one end of the braid in and I take the tubing and put it all the way to the end of the tubing where it just pokes out and then I bring it right back in I take the heat gun and heat it up shrink the tubing you do it on both sides and then what I do is I get a pair of pliers and I kind of crimp it in there real tight and then I get the pliers and kind of roll it onto the other part that I didn't crimp. Next thing I do is I've uh, already measured out uh, 1.8 ounces of BBs. You just get a little tiny funnel. You can get these funnels online. It's just a real tiny funnel. And I shove the funnel down the middle of the tubing. And I pour all the BBs again one and eight ounces worth of BBs which comes out to be about roughly 140 BBs if you don't have any way of, of measuring them and I kind of take it and shake the BBs into it by expanding expanding the tubing here and then I push the BBs down the tubing now this is the part that takes a little bit of time um, probably the hardest part of the project is getting these BBs in here and getting them down down here to where you can get them all in there so I just work them work them with my fingertips all the way to the bottom and go back up and shake it some more I think we're about done and then what I do all right so we got all the BBs in and what I do now is take the end kind of fold it in half to each other and I take the second piece of tubing which again is a inch and three-fourths and I put that in there and I run it all the way through and have it right on the end and take the heat gun again and heat this up pair of pliers and pinch the end of it off. Once you get it pinched off again, get your pliers and kind of press down the other part. The final part of it is I take a soldering iron, 
and I go right in on the end of it and I create a hole. This is where you attach your line at on your uh, from your rig to this and you punch a hole in it just like that and that's it. That's all it takes to make a, a drifting weight. Uh, very simple. Uh, again, I'll leave all the links in the uh, description as to where you can buy the uh, braided tubing and the heat shrink and all the other stuff we use today. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video and um, we will catch you later. Before you leave, be sure to check out our description page below. This page gives you a brief description of the video you are currently watching along with the fishing gear we used during the filming of this video. Click onto the show more link to view all of this information. In upcoming episodes we'll begin a new segment where we test out products that are sent to us. If you would like your product to be featured on one of our upcoming episodes, our contact and shipping information is also included on this page. I want to thank you for watching our videos and if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel to get notifications as to when our new videos are available. Meanwhile, here are a few more videos that I think you will like.